Is Earth being watched by something not of this world? In 2017, something moved through our solar system that defied every expectation we had. It was a silent traveler from the interstellar dark, arriving unannounced. It had a bizarre shape, it was tumbling chaotically, and it accelerated without any visible engine. It was our first confirmed visitor from another star system, and we gave it the Hawaiian name Oumuamua, meaning messenger from afar. This is the story of that encounter, a mystery that left scientists grappling with questions that challenge our very understanding of the cosmos. But it's also the story of how that one strange guest was a profound wake-up call. How the puzzle of Oumuamua highlighted the urgent need for a new set of eyes on the sky, a system named Atlas that is now scanning the heavens every single night. We are no longer just waiting for the next cosmic traveler to surprise us. We are actively hunting for them. And the hunt is already paying off. Picture this. It's October 19th, 2017. Astronomers at the Panstars Observatory in Hawaii spot a faint speck of light moving incredibly fast. At first, just another asteroid. But as they tracked its path, they realized this was not from around here. It wasn't in a gentle orbit around our sun. It was on a sharp hyperbolic path that proved it was a visitor just passing through. It had screamed through our solar system and was already on its way back out. We had just a few precious weeks to study our first interstellar guest before it vanished. And almost immediately, things got weird. As astronomers watched Oumuamua, they saw its brightness changing dramatically, swinging by a factor of about six every eight hours or so. There was only one conclusion. The object had a truly extreme shape. To cause that kind of change, it had to be incredibly elongated, like a cosmic cigar, or perhaps an extremely flat, pancake-like object. Either way, it looked like nothing we had ever catalogued. It was estimated to be about 100 to 200 meters long, with a dark reddish color often seen on objects from the frigid edges of a star system. Its motion was just as strange. It wasn't spinning cleanly, but was tumbling, suggesting it may have had a violent past. But the biggest puzzle came from what we didn't see. Oumuamua passed close to the Sun, well inside the orbit of Mercury. A comet made of ice should have been lit up by the Sun's heat, forming a glowing halo of gas and dust called a coma. We pointed our most powerful telescopes at it, searching for that telltale sign. The result was stunning. There was no coma, not a hint of dust or gas. So was it just a weird, rocky asteroid? The final clue made that simple explanation impossible. As Oumuamua left our solar system, something was giving it a tiny extra push. It was accelerating away from the sun faster than gravity alone could explain. We see this with comets all the time. Jets of gas and dust act like mini rocket engines. But Oumuamua was accelerating without any visible jets it had an engine we couldn't see. This combination of features created a genuine scientific enigma. The door was thrown open to a range of theories. Could it be a nitrogel iceberg chipped off a Pluto-like world in another system? Some scientists argued such an object would struggle to survive the journey. Of course, the sheer strangeness led to more sensational ideas. Harvard astronomer A.V. Loeb proposed it might be an alien artifact, igniting the public's imagination, though this remains a minority view. A compelling natural explanation came in 2023, suggesting that trapped molecular hydrogen within the object's water ice could have been released by the sun's warmth, providing a gentle, invisible push without any dust. But the debate continues, and there is still no single consensus on what it was. 
And that was the ultimate problem. The data was limited. Because we spotted Oumuamua so late, it was a cosmic firefly that blinked once and was gone, leaving us with more questions than answers. It proved one thing for certain. We were at risk of missing the next visitor completely. Oumuamua was a wake-up call. It revealed a blind spot in our surveillance of the cosmos. We had powerful telescopes, but they could only look at small patches of the sky. A fast-moving object could easily slip through the cracks. We needed a system that could watch the entire sky nearly all the time. Enter ATLAS. The name stands for Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert. And let's be clear, ATLAS wasn't created because of Oumuamua. Its development was already underway, with the first two telescopes in Hawaii beginning operations in 2015. But Oumuamua's flyby made its mission more critical than ever. The true genius of ATLAS isn't one telescope. It's a globally coordinated network. The system consists of four similar telescopes working in concert. Two are in Hawaii, on Haleakala and Mauna Loa. The other two are in the Southern Hemisphere, at the Sutherland Observation Station in South Africa and the El Sauce Observatory in Chile. This global layout is critical. When the sun rises in Hawaii, it's getting dark in Africa and South America. The hunt never stops. This network makes Atlas the first survey designed to scan the entire visible dark sky several times every single night, weather permitting. It's an unprecedented level of coverage. So how does it work? The magic is in its cadence. Each Atlas telescope takes a 30-second picture of a huge patch of sky, then moves to the next. A few minutes later, it comes back to the first patch and takes another picture. The system's computers then digitally subtract the images. The stars and galaxies cancel out, but anything that moved, like an asteroid, appears as a dot that isn't in the same place. If it finds something new, the information is sent to the Minor Planet Center, alerting astronomers all over the world. It's a seamless, automated watchdog. So, how does this all-seeing system change the game? For starters, it directly addresses the problem of late detection. Its primary purpose is written in its name, Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert. Atlas is one of our planet's key sentinels for finding smaller asteroids on a collision course with Earth. These are the city-killer-sized impactors that are too small to be found years in advance. Atlas is designed to find them on their final approach, giving us hours or days of warning. This isn't theoretical. In 2019, Atlas detected an asteroid named 2019 MO about 12 hours before it harmlessly broke up in the atmosphere south of the Caribbean. It acts as a cosmic fire alarm, and that warning could one day be enough to evacuate a populated area, saving thousands of lives. But finding strange visitors from other stars is where the story comes full circle. We now know for certain that Oumuamua wasn't a complete anomaly. In 2019, a second interstellar object was discovered, 2i Borisov. Unlike its mysterious predecessor, Borisov looked and acted just like a regular comet, with a clear coma and tail. And now, with Atlas fully operational, the game has changed. In July of 2025, the Atlas telescope in Chile spotted a faint, fast-moving object. Quickly, astronomers realized what they had. The International Astronomical Union confirmed it. This was an interstellar object, only the third ever found. It's now officially named 3I Atlas. For astronomers, it was a eureka moment. For us, 
it's proof that the system works. Early signs suggest Three-Eye Atlas is more like Borisov, showing a faint coma as its ices vaporize. But the fact that we noticed it at all while it was still far from the sun shows how far we've come. With Atlas and other surveys working together and the next generation Vera C. Rubin Observatory getting ready, our rate of discovery is set to skyrocket. We are on the verge of discovering several interstellar objects every single year. The next time a truly bizarre object like Oumuamua visits our solar system, we could have months of lead time. We could point the James Webb Telescope at it and finally get definitive answers. Oumuamua was a gift. It was a fleeting, unsettling messenger